Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a reading on Chewy from the K-pop girl group twice and this will just be an overall general reading to kind of see, you know, where she's standing right now, what's going on with her currently. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first card that came out is Set Your Course. Okay. And the next card is Falling in Reverse. And then we got Nature Communication. Okay, so with these cards for Chewy right now, it kind of lets me know that right now is a time where she's really thinking about her future and wondering where she is going to go after Twice ends or even like before, you know, they renew their contract or whatever they got going on type of thing i definitely feel like she wants to have a direct plan of where she, what she want to do how she want to proceed in life type of thing but at the same time it's kind of hard because she doesn't have that plan it's kind of like i want to but i'm afraid of change because if i leave this group what's going to happen if i stay what's going to happen it's kind of like she's kind of scared to know what the future holds for her as an individual type of thing either in whichever direction she do choose to go it's kind of like she's afraid to take that leap in a way or make that change like if she knows okay things isn't going how i want to right now within my company maybe i should get up and leave but then it's like a part of me is like i'm scared too so i might not that's why i'm kind of getting the vibes from her vibes from chewy it's kind of like she's trying to figure out okay what do i want to do but then at the same time it's not like she's actually possibly is going to take that step right now or want to because she might be scared of the unknown type of thing and being like oh you know what about if this happened, what about that is very doubtful energy and it's also like I want this but I'm afraid to change change it to get it or you know proceed that way to get it type of thing. I get a lot of confusion right now with her when it comes to a lot of things around her surroundings and especially with her future type of thing. Okay, so the next card that we pull is the secrets and confession card. Okay, and then let's pull a few more. Okay, and then we got the Justice, Fierce, and Commitment card. We got the Perception card. Percept, percept. Yeah, I'm sorry. Surprise, Discovery, and Revelation card. Okay, so with these cards for Chewy, if... There's some stuff that she isn't being, not truthful with, but it's like, there's some secrets that she's hiding, whether it's from the rest of the world, or whether it's just from her bandmates or her company, I don't know. We'll try to get into that more later, but I definitely get the vibe that she is holding back a lot from her truth. Even though she's committed to Twice, don't get it wrong, she's very, very committed to Twice. I just feel like she wants more fairness for herself, and I feel like she is going to go through that battle to get that, or, you know, or else it's like, okay, then this may not be for me if we can't settle with this type of thing. I definitely feel like she's trying to see things in a different light or a different way, but I feel like she may end up discovering something else that may catch her attention like a surprise that may catch her attention and be like oh my god like i always wanted to do this like this is so cool like let's do this let's do that type of thing i definitely get the vibes with the secret card it's something to do with maybe her career but we could kind of pull some cards for it okay so the first card we get is the four of wands upright so, like I said, I definitely feel like the secrets is about her community and her group. And then we got the seven of pentacles in reverse. And then business, you know, related, that type of thing. I definitely feel like Chewy is feeling very... And then we got the knight of swords. We got the three of wands in reverse. And then we got the king of pentacles upright. So, I definitely feel like this secret type of thing that she's holding back and isn't confessing is coming from um how shall i say it? it's like it's something to do with her group and her current surroundings right now 
I definitely feel like she is feeling held back in a way and she feel like she isn't making progress on her own. And it's kind of leading to her having setbacks, delays, and then also leading to, leading to her being a bit, you know, not happy with this situation. I guess, like, frustrated. Yeah, leaving her to be very frustrated type of thing. And I kind of get the vibe that, you know, she is... Is it in the best state right now where she's like, you know, 100% happy with her career? Like, yes, Twice is doing well, but I'm getting she wants stuff more on an individual level versus, you know, a group level too. Like, I feel like it's very crucial to have individual levels and team level. And I kind of get in that vibe that she may not be seeing a clear future staying in JYP forever. I'm just going to be honest. That's what I'm getting. I'm, like I said, it's like she definitely seeing things more and more come to light and it's not really pleasing her in a way it's kind of making her feel like okay so it's going to be more obstacles along the way type of thing if i don't make the right decision type of thing and i definitely get that big changes is coming whether she decides to take them that's on her i definitely get the vibe is going to present present itself but she may be scared like i said she's afraid of change and the unknown so she may not take these opportunity opportunities that could put her out there more type of thing so it's like that's the vibe i'm kind of getting from her okay so the card that we got for our current energy is the moon card some more cards see what's going on around her right now okay we got the ten of wands okay we got this death card okay so with these cards coming out these three cards coming out right now I definitely see again the moon the moon card represents secrets and the secrets card came out early. I definitely feel like she has a lot of secrets and I feel like these are secrets she's kind of keeping to herself right now. I don't feel like she's going to come out and tell people right now because she don't really want to disturb the peace or have people thinking this or have people thinking that. I feel like right now this is just a time for her to sit with herself and figure out things before you know she'd be like, okay, I want to say this to you guys. I want to say that to you guys type of thing. The moon card, it represents, like, I definitely see right now her energy is all over the place. I definitely feel that she is going through this difficult period alone where it's, like, changes are presenting itself to her. I feel like she is getting, you know, changes happening or transformations happening or contemplate, contemplating on that happening. But then it's kind of like... It's a lot of worries and fears. Like I said, she fears change. I definitely get she don't know if she take this leap and does this, what will her future hold or what will happen type of thing. It's like, like I said, so that's what I'm getting. It's very, a lot of fear and worry vibes type of thing. And 10 of ones, I feel like she's working very, very hard. I do feel like she is really putting herself out there, but I'm getting a lot of stress energy for her. We got the Wheel of Fortune. The Seven of Cups in reverse, and then the Nine of Cups. Yeah, like I said, with the um with these cards, I'm kind of getting like I said, it's a lot of stress energy, it's a lot of carrying responsibility, but then at the same time, it's like she may not want to put it out there to the public with the Moon cards. Like maybe she's going through all this behind the scenes and keeping her true feel feelings hidden. Obviously, that's what idols do. I'm not surprised. So like I said, all this she's going on behind the scenes and not many people is knowing about it. And I'm getting changes. It's gonna happen for her. Big changes. It's gonna happen for her. Type of thing. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it can be good or bad. Like I said, it depends on what how fate. At the end of the day, with the Wheel of Fortune, it depends on what fate want to put her through type of thing so i'm definitely getting the vibe that you know good things can come her way but it's up to her with the seven of cups in reverse to make the right decision and i'm getting right now her energy and her decision making is all over the place i feel like she doesn't know which answer to go with what choice to go with that's going to be beneficial for her but at the end of the day all she does is want success and more recognition for herself type of thing but i'm getting in order to get that and put yourself out there more you're gonna have to make a big change whether you like it or not it's gonna have to be something that's going to really help you help her out type of thing because i definitely get the vibe that 
she is really going to have to make major changes for herself. And like I said, this could pertain to her contract renewal with JYP or this could pertain to her possibly not renewing. Like I said, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, it's no direct decision right now. So she don't even know right now. It's kind of like she's still deciding, but it's very hard and stressful for her because it's like if she made one wrong decision, it's like, okay, you know, this could happen, this could happen, anything could happen. That's what I'm saying. She has a lot of fear of what's to come in the future because it's unknown type of thing. So I definitely feel like that's what's taunting her the most right now. It's like a lot of stuff happening, but then she's not sure on what choice to make. So it's kind of like, okay, you know, I'm feeling this type of way because I want this to happen, but it may not happen that way. I get a lot of uncertainties and doubts and fears and worries type of thing. But I feel like she is going to come to the decision that's going to benefit her the most. So that's all I get for Chewy from the K-pop Girl Review Twice. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can always request in the comment section down below and tune into my next video. And make sure to do not spam the comment section with the same request because I know that some of y'all be... um spamming with the same request and i just want to let you know don't do that because that makes me skip over you because i have a lot of requests not just yours so it's going to take me time to fulfill these um requests so thank you and bye